Hello, ladies and gentlemen of the Arizona Panfish Bandits group that I am so happy that I created. As I sit here eating my probiotic yogurt and blueberry concoction, I'm going to go over some stuff from today. Man, that's tasty. So, before I get into that, I am going to be sending... Richard Jean, the fishing machine, some of my jigs. Since nobody wants to buy my shit, I'm going to send my shit. And I got a ton of them uh, in my personal pack, but I'm going to go ahead and put some of them together for him. I'm not going to do the 1 8 only the 1 16 And um, more of the, the uh, bait fishy colors, you know, the kind of stuff that would work in the kind of waters that he typically fishes in so like the white blue uh, pink I got the uh, brown with the green eyes white brown tail I'm gonna send the uh, variation of the pink pink is a color that works really good in dirty water and of course some of the uh, more uh, minnow centric ones and then uh, why are these all falling out okay whatever and then I'm um, probably going to go into my bigger pack and pick some else out for them. And, you know, I've got, well, I've got that one, and I've also got this one that's just full of minnow styles. So I'm not sure exactly all of what I'm going to send to them, but I'm definitely going to be sending them a fair amount. And I uh, wonder why the hell my jigs keep falling out when I put them in perfectly good holder. That's kind of irritating. Son of a biscuit, man. You know, you get something especially uh, attuned to uh, doing this kind of thing, and it still sabotages you. Anyway, I'm going to be getting to that uh, pretty soon. But for now, I'm going to put it off to the side. So, today I spent time with my daughter, my oldest daughter, Shannon. Now, I've been pretty sick, so couple days ago was the first time in like four months that I had been able to see my daughters uh, you know to, to really have the energy after work to do so and in the last four and a half some odd months I've been fishing maybe now I think seven or eight times and if any of you that know me know me you know I fish all the fucking time so if I have only fished that many times in the last over four months you know I have not been feeling good but I made a promise, so I showed up, and we kicked some ass. Good God. The spot that I took her to, we were kind of bathed in the sun, and the side that I had her and myself on uh, has been a very productive side for me for all manner of fish, and I was not getting very good luck on the other side which is a, a long scooped shallow and two a little bit deeper I think a max of like nine foot and uh, we went over there to get in the shade even though it wasn't that hot the sun kind of has that effect and man if we didn't just kill shit and what we were doing is using uh, excuse me for a second here we were using one of my rigs that God damn it, excuse me for a second. We were using one of my rigs that is a size 4 ESB uh, slip auber, which the ESB, it, uh, Leroy that makes them, I think he has a small crew with them now. Uh, it has the bead machined and glued into one side of the tube, and the other side has a metal cap. So the wear and tear on these things is almost non-existent unless you happen to step on one or crush it somehow in a pack. It is a very light, buoyant foam. I believe it's automotive bumper foam, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and he sends them to Kamal, uh, that makes bobbers as well, to have them spray painted. What I do is I take my either my Miracle Nail like this, the dollar store version of Hard as Nails, or Hard as Nails, and coat them to save the paint. So we had those, and I use a, ru a rubber uh, bobber stop. A micro swivel and then 
these little, um, I think they're one eighth ounce um, ice fish jigs in different colors that my uh, friend and purveyor of uh, Rocky Mountain Jigs, Custom Jigs, sold me and gave me a fantastic deal. I don't know, I, I've lost a few of them. I still got like 48 left. Uh, various really cool colors. Some of them are glow, some are not. But I'll have that tied on direct and have one small split shot above the uh, uh, the micro swivel to keep the bobber from going down over the swivel. You know, it's kind of a counterbalance at that point. Put it like three or four foot down. We tossed them out. We were just getting pegged left and right. And I, and I told her, I said, I'm going to take you to this spot because it's just been on fire lately. Well, she had the fucking time of her life, man. And I got to tell you something. I am so thankful I finally got time to go fishing with her again because she really likes it. Her sister used to kind of be into fishing, but she's really not so anymore. But, you know, I still get perfectly along with her sister. She's just not, not really the fishing type. I mean, she was going fishing with me before with her sister. It was more to spend time with me than it was to fish. Which I, I, I was okay with that. But I will never force my kids to do something that they don't want to do. So what we were using, typically I use uh, the fluorescent soft plastics, the little wiggle tails and whatnot. But we did not do that this time. We were using, and I got so many of these things left. We were using these super worms. See that thing wiggling right there? And they are fire. And basically what uh, happens with super worms, uh, which are just a different type of, of beetle uh, larvae, like the regular mealworms, they get anywhere from two to two and a half, sometimes three inches long and big compared to regular mealworms. They uh, emit a pheromone when they're uh, pierced by hook. I'm not sure what that pheromone's called. All I know is that for some reason the fish just go ape shit over that. And that's not an exaggeration. I mean, they literally go, whoa, wait a minute. I smell that. I need to eat it. And they eat it consistently. Carp, catfish, bass, bluegill, red ear, all of them beat the snot out of these things. So we did. We absolutely killed it. And the funny thing is I've used so many of these. I got, uh, I got them um, Friday after work, and I got 200. And I probably still have over 100 sitting in here. So it's really a great investment. One of the other things that really works well for me, and I've tied these on uh, some of these uh, tungstens. And if you have seen my uh, pictures of uh, tungstens, you know that they can be really effective. Um, but like I take, I use the white Gorilla Glue to just kind of make a body after I've uh, wrapped a jig. But like even this, you know, there's that, that peach tail that I made from twisting uh, skirt material. And it's just uh, white uh, glue that has solidified. Now I could use my UV material, but I don't have a strong enough UV light to really harden it beyond uh, still being a little bit tacky. I could leave them out in the sun, but I really don't want to do that. But I, I have little variations, you know, with the pink. I got this one is the kind that I really like using because the hook is really well exposed. But I got uh, you know pink uh, body material. It's a pink head. You can't really see it because the light really sucks on this thing. But I make all sorts of these things, and uh, they all work. You know these micros because it's something they don't typically see, and that's one of my secrets of, of micro fishing uh, in general. Is I will get to a place where I see what other people are using. And then I'll use something completely different. I mean, vastly different. Uh, it works, you know. And, and sometimes people get mad because you're catching fish. Well, it's not my fault you're not using alternate tactics. I've told a couple of people that. And there weren't anybody, was not, proper terminology, anybody around us to uh, gripe about the fact that we were kicking some ass. And we had a great time. And then I took her to Pita Jungle for lunch. And then I took her home, and we sat and played Crash for a while. Crash Bandicoot. 
and I remember it being a pain in the ass, and it delivered on its usual way of being a complete pain in the ass to play, but it's addictive, an addictive type of pain in the ass. God help me, I don't know why, but it's, I, I, I set, have such a blast playing that damn game even when I get pissed off at it. I just find myself having to keep playing it and playing it because I want to beat that damn level, you know? Kind of like fucking Candy Crush. God damn it, that pisses me off. Th those fucking levels. It's the only reason I haven't played it for like over a year and a half. Uh, but yeah, we had just had a really kick-ass time. So, point uh, after the fact of just saying that I had a really great time with my, my daughter... Uh, and that rig. If you're looking to do uh, micro drop shot, one sixteenth, one eighth ounce uh, tear drops, uh, you know, size six to size eight spin shots, or uh, owner mosquito hooks, or whatever your brand of mosquito hook is, and you're looking for uh, micro um, swivels, there's tons of them on eBay. I get 57 packs of the owner mosquitoes in size six on eBay for like nine bucks shipped. Got the same seller, I just repeat order from the guy. Uh, the teardrop weights I get from Arizona Lead, AZ Leadworks on Facebook, Matthew Pickle Simmer. He's on this group, actually. Uh, hit him up. He, he makes great lead, man. It's very consistent. Uh, the weights are actually part of the mold, so you see it inside. I can powder coat them. He can powder coat them. We can make uh, custom colors happen. I typically do them in copper tone because it matches most bottoms, and it's unobtrusive and not shiny to where it takes away from seeing the bait. Uh, I love drop shot for panfish on the bottom because I put an 8 to 12 inch lead to the to the weight from the hook so it stays fairly off the bottom because bluegill when they're on the bottom they feed up and if they see that they come up they snap it. If it's on the bottom like when you use a drop shot and you just sit there and gently start pumping it well, then they orient their bodies because they, they see and they smell and they sense a commotion. And then they come down and they pick up a bait from the bottom. And you're still getting it from that drop shot rig. And the slip over rig just works stupid good. So between uh, the weights with Matthew uh, at, at AZ Leadworks and the um, tungstens from Raymond, I also get these. These are the smaller versions. Uh, stinger tails that I use on those tungstens because they're the smaller ones and you can't use the bigger versions of these bodies on the tungstens but I also use these on the tungstens to great effect in clear water they're like little mini beavers and kind of a, a clear fluorescent uh, with red flake I've got the uh, little tadpole stingers the same and then I've got the uh, bigger bodied stingers in that same kind of a color uh, it's just kind of a that the color theme kind of mimics a little bit the mealworm color it's just a little more clear so it's kind of a hint of a color and for some reason it really pulls fish in there they're like oh I gotta see that this I've had set aside for a customer I, I went ahead and uh, took my uh, tungstens and already sold them the ones that I had in the pack because I haven't heard back and if it's another week I'm keeping the baits so uh, I'm not going to wait around forever. But, like I said, if you want really good drop shot lead in any weight, whether you bass or, or panfish, uh, AZ Lead Works. Matthew Pickle Simmer is a stand-up dude. He needs to pick up his pack. Pickle boy, come on now. You haven't picked up your pack yet. Come on. Get with it, man. Anyway, uh, he's badass. Raymond, who is also in this group despite being in Colorado, I invited him because, you know, he's awesome and uh, he's a friend and if he's in the group and somebody needs micro soft plastics and whatnot, he's got a fuck a ton of different stuff and his soft plastics he does with a uh, fervent passion of perfection. So unlike the eBay bot ones, which are probably the same mold, he lets them cool down enough to where they don't get the damn air pockets in them. Are nice and smooth they're even they're uniform and let me tell you something if you drop shot them and there's panfish that want to eat they are going to beat the shit out of them there is no ifs ands or buts about that that's just that's his stuff it's really that good 
I wouldn't toot the horn for the man if I didn't believe it myself. All the jigs you see me tying with the eyes and the nice colors, the jig heads, those are his. I buy them direct from him. I have not legitimately powder coated my own heads in a while because he gives me such good deals on, on the finished jig heads that he has in spare. Why? Why would I do it if he's already got them? Anyway, I always have also uh, jigs available. So, you know, if you're looking for a specific color pattern and you happen to see pictures that I post online after I've made jigs and you want those jigs, understand that unless somebody buys them, which there are people that do, they're pretty much going to just sit here and end up in my pack. And I don't mind selling them because I've got a ton of fucking tying material that I can go through and still do stuff with. I'm not averse to selling my stuff. And if I make enough profit to just get more materials, I'm fine with that. I've got to buy more hackle feathers anyway because the only hackle, the only good hackle feathers that I really have left are uh, the pink uh, schlappen, which is the under feathers, and uh, gray hackle. So I'm really only able to do fancy pinky things or minnow styles right now with that hackle. Otherwise, I've got to use marabou. Don't have any more. I traded it for stuff with Raymond. So it's a very symbiotic relationship, really. He's really a stand-up dude. And, and Matthew as well. If he'd pick up his pack, Matt. God damn it. Anyway, uh, yeah, so hit Raymond up for... Uh, things if you have an idea uh he's got great fucking jigs too man that dude knows how to tie some fucking jigs man uh and a lot of them and quick he's really kick ass with that his his consistency across his own entire line that he does regularly is ridiculous i carry his jigs and i tie myself so i should tell you something and for anything lead related jig heads uh you know weights of any kind all the way up through catfish weights matthew with az leadworks just hit the guy up man he's badass he's a really cool dude